Hello guys! For today's lesson, we're going to discuss about solving quadratic equation by completing the square. Before we proceed to our lesson, let us have first a review on perfect square trinomial. Express the following perfect square trinomial as a square of a binomial. Number 1, we have x squared plus 6x plus 9 can be expressed as the square of x plus 3. Now, what is a perfect square trinomial? A perfect square trinomial is a trinomial that can be expressed as a square of a binomial. Consider the following formulas. The square of a plus b can be expanded as a squared plus twice ab plus the square of b. Now, if we have the square of a minus b, it can be expanded as a squared minus twice ab plus b squared. For example, number 1, it is in the form a squared plus twice ab plus b squared. To convert a perfect square trinomial x squared plus 6x plus 9 into a square root binomial, we simply extract the root of the first term and the last term. For the first term, we have the square root of x squared, which is equal to x. And for the last term, we have the square root of 9, which is equal to 3. Therefore, a perfect square trinomial x squared plus 6x plus 9 can be written as a square of binomial, the square of x plus 3. x squared minus 14x plus 49 represents the square of a minus b. So to find the square of a binomial, we're going to extract the root of the first term, which is x squared, and that is equal to x. And extracting the root of the last term, which is 49, which is equal to 7. Therefore, x squared minus 14x plus 49 can be written as a square of a binomial, the square of x minus 7. The third example, x squared plus 2x plus 1 is on the form the square of a plus b which is equal to a squared plus twice ab plus b squared. So to write x squared plus 2x plus 1 into a square of a binomial, we have to extract the root of the first term and the root of the last term. So that is equal to the square of x plus 1. Number 4, we have x squared minus 18x plus 81 can be factored as the square of x minus 9. For number 5, we have 25x squared minus 30xy plus 9y can be factored as the square of 5x minus 3y. Applying the formula, the square of a minus b can be expanded as a squared minus twice ab plus b squared with our given 25x squared minus 30xy plus 9y squared. So by extracting the roots of the first term and the last term, we have the square root of 25x squared for the first term and that will be 5x. And for the last term, we have the square root of 9y squared, which is equal to 3y. Therefore, the given 25x squared minus 30xy plus 9y squared can be factored as the square of 5x minus 3y. Let's take the first example. x squared minus 4x minus 2 is equal to 0. We're going to find the values of x that will satisfy the equation. Notice that the given expression cannot be factored. We can use the method called completing the square to find the solutions. Here are the steps. Number 1. Eliminate the constant on the left side of the equation or simply transpose the constant 2 to the right side of the equation. Take note that if a is equal to 1, then simply transpose the constant to the right side of the equation. 
Now, if a is greater than 1 or less than 1 except for 0, then divide all the terms by the value of a. Step number 2. Complete the square by adding the square of the half of the coefficient of x. So that will be half of the coefficient of x which is equal to negative 4. So that will be the square of half of negative 4 which is equal to 4. So 4 is added onto both sides of the equation. Step number 3. Write the left side as a square of a binomial. So from x squared minus 4x plus 4, it can be written as a square of a binomial which is the square of x minus 2. And then we have to simplify 2 plus 4 which is equal to 6. Now for step number 3, that will be the square of x minus 2 is equal to 6. Next step, we have to extract the square root of both sides of the equation. Extracting the square root of both sides of the equation, it gives us x minus 2 is equal to square root of 6. Next, we have to solve for the value of x. So from x minus 2 is equal to the square root of 6. Transposing negative 2 onto the right side of the equation, it gives us x equals 2 plus minus the square root of 6. Therefore, the values of x are x equals 2 plus the square root of 6 and x equals 2 minus the square root of 6. Example number 2, we have the given x squared plus 10x minus 11 is equal to 0. We are going to solve it by completing the square. So the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to transpose the constant to the right side of the equation. After we transpose the constant to the right side of the equation, we're going to complete the square by adding the square of the half of the coefficient of x. Meaning, if we have 10, half of 10 is equal to 5, and then we're going to square 5, so that will be 5 times 5. That's why we're going to add 25 to the left side and to the right side of the equation. Next, we're going to write the left side as a square of a binomial. Then next, we're going to extract the square root of both sides of the equation. So that will be the square root of the square of x plus 5 is equal to the square root of 36, which is equal to x plus 5 is equal to positive negative 6. Then solve for the value of x. So from x plus 5 is equal to positive negative 6, that will be x equals negative 5, positive negative 6. Simplifying it further, we have x sub 1 which is equal to negative 5 plus 6, then x sub 1 is equal to 1 or the other value of x, x sub 2 equals negative 5 minus 6 which is equal to negative 11. So therefore, we have the solution for the equation x sub 1 is equal to 1, and x sub 2 is equal to negative 11. We can check the solutions obtained using the original equation. So from x squared plus 10x minus 11 is equal to 0, when x is equal to 1, we can use substitution. So whenever occurrences of x, we're going to change it with its value which is equal to 1. So now we have 1 squared plus 10 times 1 minus 11 must be equal to 0. Simplifying it further, 1 squared is equal to 1, 10 times 1 is equal to 10, so that will be 1 plus 10 minus 11, or 11 minus 11, and that will be 0 is equal to 0. Next, when x is equal to negative 11, again by substitution, so from the original equation, we have x squared plus 10x minus 11 is equal to 0, we substitute the value of x which is equal to negative 11. That's why we have the square of negative 11 plus 10 times negative 11 minus 11 should be equal to 0. The square of negative 11 is equal to 121 and the product of 10 and negative 11 is equal to 110. Now we have 121 minus 110 minus 11 should be equal to 0. Simplifying it further, now we have 0 is equal to 0. Then it implies that 
the solutions are correct. Example number 3. Solve 3x squared minus 12x is equal to 15. Since a is greater than 1, then we're going to divide both sides of the equation by a and then we're going to simplify. After that, we're going to transpose the constant to the right side of the equation. So the equation becomes x squared minus 4x is equal to 5. Next, we have to add the square of one half of the coefficient of x on both sides of the resulting equation. So that will be x squared minus 4x, half of negative 4 is equal to negative 2, then we square it. That's why we add 4 on both sides of the equation. Next, we express the resulting trinomial on the left side of the equation as a square of a binomial. Then solve the resulting quadratic equation by extracting the square root. So from the square of x minus 2 is equal to 9, extracting the square root of the both side of the equation, we now have the square root of the square of x minus 2 is equal to positive negative 9. And remember, 9 is a perfect square. That gives us x minus 2 is equal to positive negative 3. Then we solve for the value of x. So from x minus 2 equals positive negative 3, we transpose negative 2 onto the right side of the equation. Then it becomes x equals 2 positive negative 3. x sub 1 now equals 2 plus 3 or x sub 2 equals 2 minus 3. Simplifying it further, for x sub 1, we have 2 plus 3 which is equal to 5. And for our x sub 2, we have 2 minus 3, x sub 2 is equal to negative 1. 